everybody, it's Mrs. Richardson, and I'm back to doing reading lessons. So for this lesson, you're going to need a pencil and two pieces of paper. For the first piece of paper, we're going to have our warm up, okay? Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, I've got my piece of paper here, and it's all folded in half, just like that, okay? That's all we need to do for uh, the folding, but now I want you to add some numbers. I want you to add six numbers. Okay, we're gonna go like this. I'm going to make one with a period. Two, three, four, five, and six. That's all, just six, because I'm going to give you a short little sight word test. Now, if you made your numbers too close together, you're gonna to wanna to go back and make some space because you're going to be putting a word here next to number one. So if you made them too close together or too tiny, you can flip it over and start again, okay? But you need to have space here. And remember, we've got this fold down the middle because we're actually only gonna do one half at a time. I'm gonna do just half of my paper at a time. So I'm gonna put my fold back. You see that? So that if I open up my book, like this, open up my paper, I've got a full size, but closed, it's only half, okay? Now, here's the tricky part. I'm not going to write the word for you to copy it. I'm going to say the word for you to try and write it down. And at the end, after we've done all six words, then I'll show you the right way to write the words, and you'll check and see if you got it right here. I'll give you an example, okay? You don't have to do this one. This one can just be me. Remember, you don't have to do this one. This is my example one. So I'm just gonna give it like a little star because this is the one where I'm showing you how it's gonna be done. I'm going to say a word. Pretend the word is little, okay? If I say little, I'm gonna have you write little next to the number that I say. But what if I forgot how to spell little? Little, little, l, 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 i, lid, lid, d, lid, l, o, 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 lid, l, lid, l. I didn't remember how to spell little, so I sounded it out, which is another good strategy. At the end, when Mrs. Richardson tells you all six numbers, we're going to open up our paper, and on this side, I'm going to show you the right way to spell it. So over here, I'm going to say little. Did you spell little? L-I-T-T-L-E, and then you get to see where you made your mistake, or if you got it right. So the first time, you're going to do it by yourself, and then at the end of this activity, I'll show you the right way to spell it, and you can write it correctly on this side. And if you got it correct, you'll give yourself a little whoop, plus one point. And if you um, made a mistake, you don't give yourself a point, you just say, ah, shucks, better luck next time, right? And you know that that's a word that you need to practice. Are you ready to begin? Remember, I'm not going to do the first part. The first part is just for you. Starting with number one, you're going to write this first word. Ready? The first word is have. Have. And I'm not going to sing the song, but you can sing the song. And if you need more time to spell it, pause the video. Number one is have. Number two is from. From. Pause the video if you need more time to spell from. Number three is how, how. Pause the video if you need more time to spell how. Number four is you, you. Pause the video if you need more time to spell you. Number five is yes, yes. Pause if you need more time. And last one, number six, 
is my. My. Okay, now I'm going to show you if you made any mistakes or if you got them all right. I'm going to add numbers on this side too. And I'm even gonna add a line just so that I stay on the right side. So I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll write it on this side and you can check to see if you got it right or if you need more practice. Number one was have. H-A-V-E, 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 have, 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 right? Number two, from, F-R-O-M, from, 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 F-R-O-M, from, 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 from. We have a lot of mistakes with from because it starts with F and sometimes people write for or find or friend or family, but from has the er sound there at the beginning, fur, um. Friend does too, but it doesn't end with that um sound. You have to think fur, um. Number three, how. We like this one, don't we? H O W. How, oh, how do you do? How. Are you getting them right or do you need more practice? Number four was you. Y O U, Y O U, U U U U U. Y is a digger, it has to go down, right? O U. Y O U. Let's do number five. Yes. Yes. Y, another digger. E. S. Yes. And number six. My. M. Y. M. Y. My. 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 Another digger. Okay. If you got some of those correct, you should do what I did down here and do a little plus one for each of the points. But if you made some mistakes, look back like I did down here and say, oh, little. Not li dol, li dol, it's lit tol. Okay, I need to practice this word. So circle the words that you need more practice, okay? And then you can show your family and say, I need some more practice, can you help me? Next time when we do another reading lesson, I'm gonna do this with you again. So make sure that you're practicing because some of these words might be on there, but maybe there will be new words too. Okay. Today's reading is going to come a little bit differently because you see, I don't have the right book. It's in the classroom somewhere. So I found the book in, on the internet and I took pictures of it and I made a slideshow for you. So we're gonna read a new story today, but I don't have it to hold in my hand. I'm gonna put it on the screen, okay? Watch this. Can you see that? Yeah, I know you can. This is our new story, it's called Zach and Anne. And you can see here that Anne is the big sister and Zach is the little brother. We're going to read a story about them visiting the beach. Hopefully that's something that you've done before with your family and maybe are getting to do right now if you're wearing your mask and being safe. This story is called The Bad Crab. This is Zach Cheng. Zach is, what's that word? Six. Some of you are six also. So you see Zach here in the corner. He is at the beach and he is six. Can you go ahead and read that page for me? You can pause to read it again. This is Ann Chang. That's a first name and a last name. Ann, for her first name, has a capital letter. And Chang, for her last name, starts with a capital letter also. How old is Anne? It says it on the line. What does that say? Anne is t -e ten. Pause here and read the page one more time. 
Zach and Anne sit in the sun. Mom and dad sit with them. Did you see that mom and dad both start with a capital letter? That's not their first or their last name, but that's their family name. And since we're calling them mom and dad like names, they're also capital letters. Mom and dad sit with them. Zach spots a crab on the sand. The crab runs up, then it snaps at Zach's leg. Do you see an apostrophe? I see an apostrophe right there after Zach. It says Zach apostrophe S, Zach's leg. That means Zach has something. What does Zach have? He has a leg and the crab is snapping at his leg. Zach jumps up on the bench. The bad crab snaps at dad. Dad lift, lifts, lifts up his legs. The bad crab snaps at mom. Mom k -i kick, kicks. Mom kicks sand at the crab. The bad crab runs off. O F F O F F O F F off. Anne jumps up and yells at the kids on the next bench. Bad crab on the sand. Pass the word. What does that mean? Pass the word. Well, pass is like when we're passing out papers or, or crayons in the classroom. Pass means to move it over, to carry it over. Just like if you're at dinner and you're passing the bread, you take the bread from one side and you pass it to the other side. Well, in this story, it says to pass the word. And in this moment, the word is the news, the news that there is a bad crab. So Anne is yelling at the kids on the next bench and says to them, bad crab on the sand, pass the word, pass the news, tell the other people around you that there is a bad crab. The kids on the next bench spot the crab. That means they see it with their eyes. Spot the crab and jump up. The bad crab snaps at them. Then it runs past them. When it is past them, the kids yell, Bad crab on the sand, pass the word. They're telling others to share their story. Here's where you're going to need your next piece of paper. On your next piece of paper, go ahead and get ready because you're going to answer two questions and help to write a little story. Here's the first question. Why? Is the crab bad? Why is the crab bad? You do not have to write that sentence, but you're going to write this sentence instead. Do not, you don't need to write, why is the crab bad? You just need to write, the crab is bad because, finish the sentence. Write two sentences or three. Tell me the story of why the crab is bad. Then, when you're done with the first question, here's a second question I want you to answer. Oops, is my picture in the way again? That's okay, I'll read the question. It says, why does Anne 
pass the word about the bad crab. Oh. Here's your sentence to write. Anne tells them because, remember she's passing the word about the, the bad crab, she's telling them about the bad crab. Why does Anne tell them about the bad crab? Here's your sentence. Anne tells them because, tell me the end of the story. Why do you think Anne was telling the other kids on the bench? And then add a picture or act it out with your brother. One of you can pretend to be the crab and somebody else can sit up on the chair and pretend to pull your legs up like dad did, right? And then send me those videos because I want to see them, okay? Thanks for coming to our reading lesson. And I want you to know I love watching your videos. So keep it coming, okay? I'll see you later.